Hey guys, welcome to the 20th C Sharp tutorial that I'm creating for Learning Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use constructors. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and the class we created in the last tutorial. If you don't have this class anymore, just go back and watch the last tutorial and uh, create it again. So, usually when you're dealing with your classes, you're going to be creating um, a new instance of them. And I know you don't know how to like do this yet or what it does, but trust me, you're going to use this a lot. So to create a new instance of your class, you're first going to want to type the name of the class. So we're just going to use my class as an example, and I called it my class. So just type the name of the class that you called yours, and following that, you're going to want to type the name that you want to call this instance of your class. I'm just going to call it MC. And then you're going to want to set it equal to a new um, instance of your class and then you want to have two parentheses after it. So when um, when you create a new instance of your class the compiler looks for a constructor and if you do not have a constructor inside of your class it will just create a default one and the default one doesn't do much. It doesn't pass any parameters and all it does is it just sets the default value for all the variables inside of your class. Like if you had a string it would just set it equal to null. So, yeah, it doesn't really do anything special. So, in order to create your own custom constructor, um, just type the, just type C-T-O-R, and then just hit tab twice, and it will auto-create a constructor for you. And we can tell this is a constructor because it's public, and I know you don't know what public means yet, but trust me, it has to be public. And it doesn't have a return type, like it doesn't have like void or uh, string or something like that. And the same, it's the same name as uh, your class. And this is a method. So basically, when you create a new instance of your class, it's calling this method my class. And it's just doing everything inside of here. So say you wanted to pass uh, a string parameter into your class. In order to do that, it's very simple. Just type uh, whatever you want to pass um, into your class into these parentheses right here. So I'm just going to call it, I'm just going to have it pass a string parameter and have it pass a name. So um, now when we go back here, we get an error that says my, my namespace dot my class does not contain a constructor that takes zero arguments. And that's true. We only have one constructor right here, and we'll get into more constructors later. But we only have one constructor right now, and it, pet and it calls for a string parameter. So we need to pass a string parameter in there. So I'm just going to pass Adam. Alright, so now that we have passed Adam here, we can now use this string name inside of this uh, method right here. And in order to use it in the rest of the class, this is what you're usually going to want to do. You're just going to want to create um, a string up here and just call it anything. I'm just going to call it name with a capital N. And then I'm going to set um, the string we just created equal to the string we passed through. So now when you pass this string right through, it's going to set this string equal to um, the string that it passes through. So now whenever we reference this string name, it's going to be uh, the same thing as referencing this one. So if we were to like uh, create like a new method down here that referenced name, it would be equal to Adam because we just passed Adam through. Now you can have multiple constructors inside your class. They just have to call for different parameters. And you can do this with any type of method as well. So, for example, like if you were to create um, another constructor here, oops, CTOR, and you gotta hit tab twice. Anyways, um, once you uh, create another constructor here, it has to have a different, um, it has to call for different parameters. And this one calls for no parameters right now, so that's okay. But if we were to have it pass another string, and even if we were to name the string something else like hello, um, we'd still get an error because the compiler doesn't know um, oops, the compiler doesn't know um, which of these uh, constructors to use because they're both strings. But if we were to change this to like a bool or something, then it would be okay because in since this is a string right here, it knows to go to this constructor. So yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at creating methods inside of our classes, and I'll show you what these public and all that stuff means. So, see you guys.